what's up what's good what's going on family let's jump in and just check the energy surrounding my lovely sagittarians at this time um while we're waiting on the energy to disperse guys i want to let you all know that i do apologize about the delay on the week ahead i had some unexpected company today so that got in the way but i will be releasing the week ahead later this evening later today like later monday um, so I do apologize about that, but let's jump in. This is for your sun, moon, ooh, ooh. this is for your mm, sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Manual Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? So I have that there was some, there is or was some reckless energy around love and or sex. There's a karmic lesson to be learned here. I do feel like that there's a karmic lesson to be learned in order to be set free. This is being, get, someone's being given an opportunity to let go. Um, someone was very reckless with their love, caught themselves in a karmic cycle. Karmic definitely needed to learn a karmic lesson here. This person could be at the end of this karmic cycle. And they're getting the opportunity to move on. They're being set free from some sort of karmic cycle that they found themselves in due to reckless sex. This person is like, there's some sort of feelings that are coming to the surface. One more card for the storyline here, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Turning your back. This is definitely something that you are, that you have turned your back on. You're setting yourself free from, or you have been set free because you had the willpower to turn something down. Yeah. Wow. And you're going in a direction. Like, I feel like after being on some sort of karmic cycle, I do feel like that, um, I'm speaking to a Sagittarius that was um, on a karmic cycle due to, you know, um, not really being, you know, just making some questionable decisions in the way that you were spreading your love. I feel like that that cycle is coming to an end here. This Somebody might be following you. Someone might be not literally following you, but someone might see that you're setting yourself free from them and they may be looking you up online, snooping, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely feel like that someone is being given an opportunity to like someone's being set free from a karmic cycle. You've learned the lesson. Congratulations. Let's see, spirit. What is this reckless love here? Why is reckless love here? Yeah, the four of pentacles in the reverse. I'm the queen of wands. Um, I definitely feel like that this was, you know, the queen of wands is very charismatic. I definitely feel like that someone was using their sexual energy to get their way here. It's like someone was using their sexual energy to be able to hold on to some sort of finance. Someone was definitely in the energy of being greedy. So they were trying to use their sexual energy. Okay. Show me more. Why is this, what is reckless love in the four of pentacles in the reverse? Reckless love, sex, in the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, the Ace, the Ace of Pentacles in the Devil. Someone, someone definitely greed got the best of someone. It's greed got the best of someone, and I like this is somebody that. Um, could have been trying to like sleeping for a position at work. Um, this person was definitely doing something very questionable, um, very toxic, um, in order to gain some sort of opportunity for wealth here for sure. Yeah. Okay. 
What is this Ace of Pentacles here? The Ten of Cups. Damn. King of Pentacles. Yeah, someone definitely married. Um, they committed. Some they definitely committed here. Or like like whether they committed to marriage, whether they committed to um, some sort of contract or something. Um, it's like this person was using their sexual energy to get in this position. Mm. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. But there was something that they wasn't seeing with the Two of Swords here. They wasn't seeing everything. Yeah, they wasn't seeing that this new... Whew, They made a decision. Someone was tempted. Someone went towards their earthly desires, yo. And they were, so they were trying to use their sexual energy. They were finessing a situation in, in, an, in an effort to gain an opportunity. They essentially sold their soul for finances. They were, and they got latched in. But here's the thing. I do feel like that someone made a decision to commit to some sort of partnership. OK, there was definitely something that they was not seeing as it pertained to this partnership. What was it that they, they were not seeing everything that this new beginning entailed? OK, and because they were really involving themselves in a queen of swords. That ultimately will betray them. What is this? Show me the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the Six of Swords. Someone thought that they was going to be able to be happily ever after and move on, like, move on to calmer waters. Hmm. Let's look at this Karmic Lesson. Why is Karmic Lesson here? the fool card see that new beginning that leap of faith that this person took it was the queen of swords it was reckless before i move forward show me the devil the two of cups in the moon card In the two of swords. It's like someone definitely could have used some sort of moon energy to manifest in some sort of partnership. But like someone's reckless energy. It's like somebody was trying to, I don't know, some somebody was trying to get a raise, honey. Somebody was using their sexual energy over here to get a raise, to get an increase or something, to get a level up. But there was so much hidden. Even look at the face here in the moon. This could be someone from your past. This could be someone... Um, Let's see. Let's get back to this karmic lesson. Karmic lesson in the full card. The nine of cups. Ace of cups. Ooh, that's the ten of cups, ultimately. So the knight of pentacles. Someone was supposed to do something. Somebody was supposed to take it slow. They didn't. King of Swords. This karmic lesson after they took this leap of faith. Someone someone could have met someone over the internet. Someone could have um this some that someone's karmic lesson was be, okay. It was definitely something that happened over the internet. They were fantasizing, um, finessing, finessing, some sort of internet finessing. 
game planning that happened over the internet. They didn't know everything that they needed to know about someone on the other end of the telephone line. And they took a leap of faith there, thinking that it was wish fulfillment. Okay? They were thinking that they were going to be able to mold this into what they wanted it to be. It seemed like something that, I don't know, maybe there was a, maybe someone, they thought someone was more naive. Because with the King of Swords coming out here, I feel like that um, someone felt they had the upper hand on maturity in this situation. Someone, look at the way that this person is barefoot in the grass. This person felt like that they were more rooted, more grounded in this situation. But ultimately, where they thought they was, the universe is now is now actually increasing their wisdom based off of some foolish decision. It was a naive decision. They didn't know everything about the person on, there's something about the internet here. Yeah. This person is definitely um, having to rebuild, like whatever leap of faith this person made in the past, they're gonna have to rebuild like, this I'm feeling like this person has to rebuild from ground up. What's this moving on, letting go? Free. Oh, wow. Eight of Cups in the reverse to the Ace of Wands. It's like there may be a difficult, you may have like someone is having a difficulty letting go of something that took place in the past or some emotional baggage. There is some resistance to releasing that. Someone is reflect like the shadows are, the shadow is louder than the, than the light right now. And interestingly, I am recording this under a Pisces new moon energy. So there's a there's a new beginning that is looming. There is some sort of creative spark um, that is happening, but it, it's like it requires you to finally let go. What's the Eight of Cups in the reverse here? Why is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? The Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords. Three of Wands. Um, you're setting yourself free. This person could be coming to try to go in for the kill shot to delay your new beginning. You know, the devil could be trying to tempt you with an offer, Sagittarius. If I'm being honest with you, the devil could be trying to tempt you with an offer, Okay, it could just flat out be a Capricorn, doesn't necessarily have to be, or it could be a Cancer, doesn't necessarily have to be, but those are the only two majors. But I also have Aquarius and Capricorn here with the King of Swords. So definitely strong Capricorn, uh, but it could just be some sort of Saturn lesson around your time, stability, and your um, energy, like your how you spend your energy. Um, you could be tempted with some sort of offer. But I feel like that it's ultimately in an effort to delay you, to keep you from moving forward. Yeah, this is someone that is having a hard time. They're not succeeding in their life, but they don't want you to succeed. Okay, that's if there's an external energy here. If there's no external energy here, Sagittarius, you're being, you're about to ascend. You're on an ascend, but there is some sort of temptation on arrival, and um, I feel like that you're being cautioned to be mindful and not be reckless with your love. I don't feel like that you'll be so. I don't think that it'll be so easily to set yourself free from your next sexual encounter with this person. If I'm being honest, like, I just don't feel like, I feel like that someone's next sexual encounter 
it like mm, it I definitely feel like that it could delay some body setting themselves free from this energy. What's the Ten of Swords? The Sun card. As a child. Seven of Cups. This is also telling me here that someone is having a hard time moving on, letting go, setting themselves free from some sort of betrayal. Like someone is someone is pregnant or got someone pregnant that you're attached to. You got to stop spying on that. You got to stop looking on that. I feel like that the conflict that that stirs up inside of you lowers your vibrations here. But for a lot of for who this is feeling like a personal for I would caution you to be mind, uh, caution you against being sexual with someone um, from your past or someone that you have been at odds with, as I feel like that where you have been able to, like, even though you may not have taken full advantage of it, you've been able to set yourself free from this energy. It won't be so easy to do so if you have sex with this person again. The way through this is to turn your back. Turning your back is the way through this. I asked for one more card, but Spirit gave me a, two more, which made it five. Y'all, if you've been here for a while, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you're still rocking with your girl. But if you've been here with your girl for a minute, you know that fifth card is for what's on the other side for me. And what's on the other side is healing, meditation, and, you know, pray like praying your way back to life praying your way back to health. I do feel like that you're having a hard time letting go and setting yourself free from some sort of ultimate betrayal, not allowing, not letting go of that and not doing the healing work of that, not setting yourself free of that is delaying some sort of brand new creative opportunity, some sort of passionate spark, okay? So Spirit is saying the way through this challenge is to turn your back. I feel like this is turn your back on the situation. Like, don't entertain it. Don't go snooping. Um, don't entertain the phone calls or text messages from this energy. Um, you know, do your healing work internally for yourself. Don't put the pressure. Don't put a timeline on this. Just know that you got to do this for yourself. Closure is for you. Let me see. Claire, can you please clarify turning your back spirit? Like everything that has happened here in this situation, just know it was needed so that you, this is temperance. This is a beautiful depiction and this camera ain't doing no justice, I promise. But she's pouring water into this bowl of flames and it's making like some sort of lava, some sort of a red, orange, yellow ribbon. And you know, that for me is all three chakras. Okay, that's the bottom three chakras, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra. And I feel like that these emotions that this situation is stirring up inside of you, if you allow, if you set yourself free and feel those emotions and stop pushing them off into some sort of container, then I do feel like that it does offer you some sort of wisdom, some sort of practicality, some sort of solution to help you balance out those bottom three chakras. But you have to stop being sexual with this person. Yeah, and it's going to, uh, baby, it's, it's up from here. This is giving me that energy of uh, the, the Lion King when Simba reclaims it in everything, all the animals come running back. Or is that at the beginning? I think it's at both parts where the animal, circle of life. It's like, every, like everything comes together. <laughs> uh, the circle of life. Turning your back the way through this challenge and understand, be patient with yourself. This ain't gonna happen overnight. The eight of pentacles, be patient with yourself. 
This is self-mastery. The Eight of Pentacles is self-mastery. That takes dedication. This is the Eight of Pentacles. That's a minimum of eight years. But with the Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, th just know that this is you stepping into a whole nother level of confidence. This is you. This is really you stepping into yourself, stepping into your dom dominion, domain, where you're comfortable at. What is the Eight of Pentacles before I move forward? What is the Eight of Pentacles? Yo. And it did come out in the challenge. So, but what is this self-mastery? Your emotions. The mastery of your emotions. And that's why I said that there's a need for you to feel the emotions. Stop trying to compartmentalize it. There is this energy of you mastering your emotions. Self-mastery of one's emotions. And it can only happen by allowing yourself to feel your emotions. Wow. wow. The the. Ace of Cups came out in the challenging position and these cards slung out weirdly and it's the three of swords in the nine of wands. This is under, this really is about processing the three of swords, the pain, releasing that sorrow, moving forward. The nine of wands is resilient energy, moving forward, not giving up. Look at this. And I love this depiction. Look over here. There's, she's done something. He's done something over here and messed up and put a big old X through it, but came over here to the next page and tried over again, didn't give up. You know what I'm saying? There's no telling. It looks like there's a coffee in the background. So there's no telling how long this person has been sitting here, but this person is not giving up. You know what I'm saying? So this is that resilient energy for releasing this three of swords, for working on and processing these emotions here. It's going to teach you something new about yourself. What's on the other side is faith, healing, meditation, and prayer. The strength. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's like you're going to learn how. It's like with the strength in the Ten of Wands here, it's like there's this newfound and I love this one because of the way that it's like he's come up with a solution to carry these burdens. OK. And I feel like that you're going to see that it's far easier to, to tap into that internal strength than it is to come up with methods to carry the burdens. I feel like that I'm speaking to a Sagittarius that has spent a long time just trying to figure out different manipulate like different maneuver tactics to carry these ten of wands to reposition all of this weight and burden and extra repressed emotions it's like you just found different creative ways to carry it but it's like on the other side of this it's like you're finding out this this that it's about the internal strength to help you carry these burdens because understanding that you the internal strength can help you transmute this and so that you don't actually need the the wands in order to have the lesson in order to have the gem you know what i'm saying you're able to transmute it and apply it within carry it within instead of carrying it on your shoulders and it helps you move it, it helps you move forward faster <laughs> beautiful energy here However this resonates for you, I hope that you're able to um, gain some guidance and clarity from this uh, reading here. And if so, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. All right, Spirit, what's the message here? Thank you. Putting in the word, it says actions that help achieve goals, build goals, building a path to success, wisdom, knowledge gained through experience or from a wise counselor. You're going to be celebrating something very soon, but I do feel like that it's on the back. Like, I do feel like that it's only once you have set yourself free and accepted something um, like, I don't know. Uh, 
Just take this as it resonates, Sagittarius. Either you or someone else has done something very questionable in an effort to gain an opportunity for finances, okay? I do feel like that this effort for finances left them out in a uh, five of pentacles, left them out in the five of pentacles energy out in the code, okay? I feel like that now that this person is out in the code and they're no longer on their high horse, because if, when you make a deal with the devil, that you can only win that for so long. That The devil comes to collect okay um it's kind of like in those movies where the, those gangster movies where um they go to shops and they you know a shop was about to go into debt and so they made a deal with the devil and now every month they got to pay their dues to they to this gangster right and if you have a bad month that gangster don't curt they come in to collect the devil has come to collect on this and it's like now that this person is in some sort of five of pentacles energy you're it's not like just now you're ready to turn your back. You've been in the process of trying to let go, heal from this and move in a better direction. And that's now where you're headed, just as this person is feeling the consequences of their past actions. But I do feel like that you're meant to turn your back on this. No longer make this decision. You know what I'm saying? This is this was a decision. This was a bed that must be laid in. Or, um, you know, uh, this was a bed that had to be laid in, um, but now you're headed in a new direction. Someone got jealous. I mean, someone got greedy. I ain't gonna lie. Close this out for me with a numerology message, please. No, yeah. I'm... I'm going to use the love messages. And I felt that. We got two, 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 two. Feminine force. You can do anything by yourself. But life is to be shared. Partner up with the right spirit and you'll become a force. Honor commitment and people around. Don't judge. Listen. So you're not being told to cast this person out in the code and turn your back on them in a malicious way. But you're still being urged to do what is best for you. You have learned the lesson, at least I hope you have, of what it means when you make decisions with not taking yourself into consideration. This is the situation that you have to put yourself first and master because when you turn your back, when you turn and go in another direction, I feel like that the person that has watched me up until this point, you're going to feel guilty for doing that. But spirit is saying you have to address that emotion of feeling guilty. Where is it stemming from? Because if you don't address that feeling and you just act on that guilty feeling, you're going to regret it because it's going to be another karmic cycle. Someone definitely regrets making a decision for some abundance here without a doubt. And um, this, you're going to need to use boundaries when it comes to this person. This person made a deal with the devil. And they have to, like they have, the devil is Saturn energy. That's that Saturn karmic lesson. We already have karmic lesson here. So there's definitely some sort of karmic lesson around someone's greed, finances, stability. Yo, this just came in. <laughs> Breaking news. For some of y'all. Somebody tried to do a destiny swap and they didn't know that your destiny, that your destiny included some sort of karmic lesson around your finances. But they, but that Saturn lesson is amplified in this person's life. This, yeah, this person, I'm telling you, whoever I'm speaking to. Either you or someone else maliciously manipulated their sexual energy in order, like they overgave, like they try to use their sexual energy to, to, so that they wouldn't constantly give it, like they wouldn't have to be financially responsible for a situation.
And this was definitely a fated encounter for you and this other person. Wow. That, that was definitely some sort of interference here. That was fated. That was fated. That was fated. It was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. When I laid interference down, I covered up one of the twos. So someone needs to look up three twos. Yeah, there's a new opportunity that is going to bring you ultimately happiness. Spirit is telling you to accept it. Accept this apology that's coming in. Accept it. Accept this new offer. Like, there's an apology coming in. Yes, thank you. I forgive you. I have been and forgave you. I release you. You don't have to worry about me wishing no harm on you, baby. We good. Turn and then turn your back, right? And then you walk straight into a brand new opportunity. It's successful too, baby. It's successful. It's ooh, baby. Look, I told you that strength was no was there for no reason. I mean, it wasn't there for no reason. You successfully step into your uh, inner strength, honey. On the other side of all of this. So just know that. Take and do what you want. I love you.